Let's use speed number one. Go against this tide. Whoa. Oh, we on, baby. I think we on. Are we on? Oh, we definitely on. I think I gotta be a flounder because that was a whip. Five inches. It's a minimum six inches for oysters in Texas. Damn. Wow. Wow. That's a big wake. That's a big wake. It's going towards my lure though. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got him. All right. We on y'all. It's a beautiful morning. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips, and I'm back for another episode, y'all. Check it. Got a special episode for y'all today, because today's episode is about redemption. Um, when I say redemption, I was out here about two weeks ago, okay? My last kayak fishing video on this channel, I came out here to the same marsh. I launched, and about 10 minutes from launching, my Bixby battery completely just shut off and died. Full battery, all right? I panicked a little bit. Took the kill switch off. I put it back on. About 10 minutes later, it came back on for two minutes, then it died again. So needless to say, I had to pedal about eight to 10 miles that day. It's been two weeks and my legs still hurt. Paraplegic. So when I went back home, I contacted Bisbee. I'm like, yo, this battery, it just completely died on me. They're like, we're sorry to hear that. Go ahead and ship it in. I shipped it in to California, right? From Texas. Um, they sent me an email saying, okay, we got it. Um, looks like there was some issue with the core of the battery. We replaced it. Uh, we replaced the cover. We did the diagnostic. They sent like an invoice and it was like $500, but it was under warranty. Zero dollars out of pocket. I didn't pay nothing. They shipped it back to me. I got it back three days later and I'm back up and running, man. So I'm out on the water testing it out and see what we can do, man. I had it in my garage. I put it like in a Home Depot bucket with some water, ran it for about four or five hours. No issues, but I want to get the true test on the water, kayak me, you know what I'm saying? All this weight to see if they can stand the test of time. Second part of the redemption of this video. Last time I came, I made it all the way to the back lake. The back lake is about, I don't know, three. No, it's about four miles from the launch, okay? I got back there, there was reds everywhere. Once I got back there, I was so damn tired from pedaling for three hours, I didn't have the energy to catch them. I was like, ugh, my legs. I couldn't stand up to try to spot them. Nothing. I just made a little loop and, and just came back home. I was disappointed because I knew that I had about a three, four, 18 hour track back to the boat ramp by pedal. I was so upset. So I'm back to test out my Bixby battery. I'm back to get to those reds in the back lake and I'm gonna have a lot of energy because this battery's gonna work. I know it is. If so, I think we're gonna have an epic day. I don't think I never caught a limit of reds before. That's the goal today. Today's goal is catch a limit of reds. Personally, I think I can do it. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Let's go. Yeah! All right, y'all, so I have arrived to the entrance of the marsh. Have a little GPS tracker. Um, it says I travel exactly two miles. It took me an hour. Um, I did stop and do a little fishing. Um, I have my Bixby motor set at a maximum speed of four. Of four. I have the um, Pro Angler kit. 768 so it's the big battery um, it has a speed of 1 through 13 um, like I said to conserve battery I learned to keep it at a minimum I was doing 6 at maximum beforehand um, but I noticed I couldn't get back to the boat ramp I'll probably get maybe around 8 miles round trip so I'm trying to see if I can do 10 miles round trip unassisted pedaling nothing just straight Bixby so speed between 1 to 4 as of now 2 miles 
one hour of traveling and I still have six of six um, battery display so I still have a full battery at this point um, I'll keep you updated on how that looks and see what we can do um, thought the sun was gonna come out but no no it's all good though it's all good though we're still gonna have a good day I think the red is gonna be here it's a little chilly but I'd rather feel a little chilly than be dying baking in the summer hey it's not supposed to rain the rain is supposed to be staying about 20 miles north of me if not, it's gonna be a long day. The last thing I wanna do is get ranked on in cold weather in the marsh. But I'm prepared though. Got a rain jacket, I got an umbrella. Got a flint starter, so if I have to start a fire, I'm ready, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready for the elements. I don't understand that, cause I've never been ranked, no, I haven't been ranked on. But I have my umbrella. Now, I know some people like you shouldn't use an umbrella while you're on the kayak. But quite honestly, there's no. It wasn't a thunderstorm. And what are the odds of me being on a kayak having a little umbrella that that's gonna conduct lightning to hit me? If I get hit by lightning in the kayak in the middle of thousands and thousands of square miles of marsh, that's God's plan. I'm gonna tell you right now, dying from lightning strike while fishing, legendary, legendary. Bring it. All right, let's go find these fish. Go fishing, they said. It be fun, they said. We good, man, we, we, we chilling, we chilling. I have my electronics, you know, water safe, um, a bag got my raincoat on I'm saying I'm, I'm ready for everything you know what I'm saying life gives you lemon you make kool-aid so what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna check my phone because this is supposed to pass I'm pretty sure it, it wasn't even supposed to be here until like 2 o'clock I don't know what this is this is a light drizzle not that bad not that bad let me check my phone because either a I can go two miles back to the boat ramp. B, continue two miles back to the back lake. Um, what should I think, man? Current situation. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. It's starting to lighten up a little bit. Fish, fish bite when it rain, right? Yeah, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on going. So let me um get situated and we'll just go straight to the back lake. If it gets worse, then I'll come back and let y'all know. Pray for me. This one seagull. Oh, y'all see that bird? I think that bird is working a school. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That bird is that one bird right there is working a school or something. And I think I see a tail. Let's catch up to it real quick. Okay. Yeah, this one bird. That's all it takes, y'all. This is some kind of sign of life. Okay, let's get position. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, right there. Right there where the bird's at. I can see tails. I can see a tail. Come on, come on. Relax, relax. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, the school is right here to the left. There we go, move bird. Oh my God, it's about to happen. That's the school, I can see it, it's so dark. Okay, I gotta get a little closer. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Move bird, move bird. Move you stupid bird. Here we go, y'all ready? Here we go, y'all, y'all ready? School, school. Oh, oh my God. Oh no, come on, no. No. Not one bite. Did y'all see that? I think I cast right on top of the damn school. Idiot. Okay. Okay, right there in that little corner, right there. I saw a big squirrel. Let me cast on it real quick. It's called like an apex.
and it's really shallow. I feel my kick up fence hitting the ground. Come on, baby. Feels really weird. What is that? Is that the ground or? Let me come on a little deeper. Wow. Wow. That's a big wake. That's a big wake. It's going towards my lure though. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got him. All right. We on y'all. There we go. Give me a second. There we go. I saw that wake coming towards it. All right. We got nothing but time and opportunity, baby. There we go. Oh, it's a nice one. Bro, it is pulling me. We got a good drag. We're going to take our time with it, baby. We're going to take our time with it. Whoa, whoa. I see a lot of mud boils. Take our time with it. Whoa. All right. We got nothing but space and opportunity, baby. Slim tire himself out. Slim tire himself out. Woo! Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, just take your time, baby. He ain't going nowhere. Keep the pressure on him. Keep the pressure on him. Get the pressure on him. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Come on, baby. All right. Come on. You're gonna get tired eventually. You're gonna get tired eventually. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, nope, 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 no. Ah! Come on, nope, no. You ain't going nowhere, baby. You ain't going nowhere, baby. All right. Relax, here we go. Relax. Here we go, here we go. Where you going? Where you going? Oh, no. Don't come back this way. Don't come back this way. No. No. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Get tired, baby. Going for a sleigh ride, it's okay. Okay. So, come on, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Uh. Okay, okay. Here we go. Take our time with it, baby. We going all the way across the lake. Y'all, this gotta be a big fish, cause this thing is dragging me. I'm like 200 and oh my god that is is that a okay guy okay okay it is a monster it is a monster come on baby okay right now wait wait no oh no 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 okay no 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 get off the boat get off the boat Get your rudder up. Uh, gotta get my rudder up. My kick up fence. Uh, there we go. Okay. Lose the drag up. Could have been a zest. Okay. Oh man. It tried to go into the kayak. I almost hit my kick up fence. It's big. Put my rudder up. If it goes on in the boat, we're gonna get it regardless. All right. Come on, baby. I see you. I know. Come here. Come here. It's big. Take your time right now. Okay. No, no. It's under the boat. It's under the boat. Come back under the boat. Come on. Get, get. Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. Get on the boat. Come here, you're right there. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat! Oh my God. Oh my God, we did it, y'all. Y'all, we did it. Woo! Oh my God. 
We actually did it, baby. <laughs> we actually did it, baby. <sighs> I'm shaking, y'all. <sighs> let's, let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, it's a pig. <sighs> Absolute hog. <sighs> oh, my God. Let's go. <sighs> What? <sighs> All right, y'all. Uh... <sighs> All right. That was insane. I got a cramp in my arm. <sighs> okay. This is a fat red. <clears throat> Let's put kick up drive back in. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh my God. This might be the biggest red I caught back here. Oh, here we go. Let me show y'all this red. Let me get my grips because I need the big board gifts for this one. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, baby. It's a, look, at, look at that. Look at that stomach. Look at that stomach, y'all. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. This is how we do it. Let me show you to my other camera, baby. Yeah. That's the hog. That's the hog. Yeah, he's bigger than my bum board. And this is exactly why I brought this measurement. Hold on, I gotta make sure we get a good measurement on him. He's bigger than my board. So I don't wanna make sure it's not a bull. If it's a bull, she goes back. Oh no. Oh no. Y'all, on YouTube Live, not only have I caught my first fish on YouTube Live, y'all just with me do something I have never done before, fishing from a kayak. I caught my first bull red, 29 inches. She goes back, 29 inches. She goes back, man. Yes, y'all, I do have my fishing um, license. I could tag them, but for my first bull red, I hear in a marsh at 29 inches. This girl goes back. You lucky. You want to be some fish tacos in Houston. You realize that, right? <laughs>